Governor Gavin Newsom announced yesterday that Kern County will move back to the most restrictive purple tier. 17's Perla Shaheen joins us from I Street, where many businesses have already adjusted to new restrictions. Perla? Yes, those the Kern County Public Health repeated that message again today that the county is moving back to a more restrictive tier. And with COVID numbers on the rise, that means businesses only had 24 hours to put the new restrictions into place. All of these restaurants behind me had to open outdoors or shut down completely. The state has indicated that Kern County, along with 40 other counties, are, is moving into the purple territory. Moving back to the purple tier means most non-essential businesses have to again shut down indoor operations. That includes restaurants, bars, churches, gyms, and movie theaters. Local businesses had 24 hours to adjust to the new restrictions. Typically, we are given three days to inform our local businesses about the changes and um, yeah, from the state, they've now changed that to a day. Don Bynum, the owner of Tembler Brewing Company, says he knew these changes would come again, but the switch still has an impact on employees. It's just a, it just seems like it's a never-ending um, emotional struggle for everyone. Um, you know, it gets the employees down. We had to tell the employees that there may be furloughs again. It's just, it's just getting, it's, it's been getting old for a very long time. Even long-standing spots like Jerry's Pizza are struggling to keep up with restrictions. We laid off half of our employees, so we're just going back to um, to go orders and all that. So we have to make up more stuff for the menu. Restaurants now must rely on outdoor seating and to go orders to stay afloat. We have seen an increase already in just the last um, day with just the takeout orders, the call-in orders, the Uber, Grubhub, DoorDash. Those have all increased quite a bit as well. So I think people are beginning to stay at home again. Um, but they're still ordering and supporting for us, which is great. But there are some places that can stay open indoors. Among them are nail and hair salons and tattoo parlors. Retail stores and malls can also stay open at 25% capacity. Schools that are fully or even partially open can stay open, regardless of which tier the county is in. That applies to most schools in the county. The few that are still completely closed have to stay closed until Kern is in the red tier. We're seeing a rise in COVID numbers worldwide. Kern County Public Health says that there's been an increase in hospitalizations and we need to follow guidelines to protect our community. In downtown Bakersfield, Perla Shaheen, 17 News.